Yo guys, I can see that you want to set up a Plex server. Easiest way of doing it. Well, in today's video, we're going to show you step by step on how to set up the easiest Plex server. There's a few things you need to have. So one is a Windows computer or a Mac computer. Now this can be a laptop, you name it, as long as you've got one of those components. So you need, that's the main thing you need. Second thing is you need a Plex account. Now you can either get, go the free account, which will be only allowed to be accessed on your local network. If you access it on a different local network, your Plex server, it will not work unless you sign up to Plex Pass for about six bucks a month. And obviously the third thing you need is some sort of media. So you have a hard drive, it's got all your media on there. You need something like that, or it can be just your hard drive built into your computer, up to you how you want to do it. As long as you've got those components right there, you are good to go to set up your own Plex server, and it's going to take you less than two minutes. It's so easy, and I'll show you just how to do it. Now, we're going to be doing it on the Windows machine. If you're doing it on the Mac, you can follow along. It's just going to be a little bit different, okay? Because um, obviously, when you install the Plex server, there's going to be a little Plex logo. On the Windows computer, it's at the bottom of the screen. I think on Mac, it'll be at the top of the screen. I'm familiar with Mac, so I don't know where they'll actually put it. Because when you basically download it, you need to click on the little Plex logo, and then it will open up uh, basically the Plex media, and then you select what files or what driver you want to use as the Plex server. Very easy to do, let's show you just how to do it. And another thing you need to do before you download, obviously, the Plex server, make sure you uh, basically made sure it's logged into your Plex account. Make sure you're on the default browser. So if your default browser is Microsoft Edge, do it all on Microsoft Edge because if you download, on, just say uh, you don't, your default browser is in um, obviously Chrome, then you can, can run into a few errors. So I would just recommend do all the downloading on your default browser, okay? I do recommend that. All right, guys, now let's see how to really get this show on the road. What up, guys? So now we're in front of basically what you need to really be taking a look at. So basically, this page is where the beginning really starts. So. Either if you're on a Mac machine or a Windows machine, it will default to obviously what you're on, as you can see right here. It's already found the media server for Windows. So what we wanna do is just click on download. Now I already have this installed, so we're not gonna to go to click download. So all you wanna do, click download, follow all the prompts. So basically just hit next, next, next. And down the bottom here, see where the arrow is? See where it says 24 and, and then sunny? Click on the arrow and there'll be a Plex icon. And you wanna just click on that. Because when you click on that, when it's all installed, you'll have that down there. And when you click on that, it'll take you to your server. So what we want to do is to make it easy. Now, I've already got it if we minimize this page. I've actually already got it here. But you won't be gridded to this page. You shouldn't be gridded to this page. You may already be gridded. I don't know. But when I did it, I wasn't. So what you need to do is click on the arrow as I showed down below. Click on the arrow as best as you can. We are using this on our tablet um, right here. Now, what you want to do is click on the Plex like logo, as I said, just double tap that. Okay, and then you're going to see the Plex logo appear on the screen. Wait for that to load on through. Take a few seconds. It won't take too long. Okay, and you're going to see a bunch of things. Now, when you're looking at this, you're going to see none of this. Well, the only things you will see um, is live TV, web show. Uh, you will not see comedy. You will not see music. You will not see Disney. You'll not see any of that because that's custom stuff I have added in. Basically to add up your server. So we've already downloaded the server. So you now got the server downloaded. Now you want to get your server pretty much added on to your Plex. What you want to do from here, you need to be very careful when you do this by the way, because you can confuse Plex. Okay? Now I'll tell you exactly how you can confuse Plex. If you've got a bunch of movies, right, and you click on TV shows, it won't do anything. Okay? So keep that in mind. So what we want to do is not do what I just did there, is you want to click on more. So click on more and then click on plus. Okay, so from here, you're gonna have a few different options. Now, depending on what is your media. Now, there's a few different ways of doing it, so I'll pretty much tell you so you know what to uh, pretty much click on what sort of media you got. If you've got movies, just movies. Now, don't worry. If you've got movies and TV shows all scrambled together in your hard drive, not to worry at all. All you wanna do is click on movies and it will automatically sort your movies and then redo another add-on and do um, TV shows and it will sort all your TV shows. However, if it's just family videos or something like that, click on other video. That will, is the best way of doing it. If it's just music, click on music. However, if it's music videos, you wanna click on other video, okay? Gaming is something different. We're not even gonna include that because that's actually not even a point of um, even bringing that one up. So, 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what you're gonna do. So if your hard drive is full of movies, click on movies. If it's full of TV shows, click on TV shows. If it's full of music videos, click on other video. Or if it's full of family videos, click on uh, uh, other videos. And if you've got photos, obviously click on photos. So in this one, just to make it a little easy, we're just gonna uh, basically, because we've got a lot of movies, so we're gonna click on movies, okay? This is where you get to have a little bit of fun. You can sort of name what you want the file to be. Do you want it just called movies or do you want to call it something cool? We're just going to leave it called movies. Now, because I already have a movies folder there, we're just going to quickly uh, change the name of that. Just hang on to a second. We'll just get the keyboard up. Okay, so we're just going to call it movies 2, just like that. And then we'll get rid of the keyboard. Okay, so we're just going to call it movies 2. Then what you want to do is click on the folder. Just click on, you just want to click this, and basically you'll open up your file. Now as you see, it's going to show you a bunch of things. Now this is where you sort of need to know where the heck is your media? Do you know where it is? Now in my case, I know where it is. It's an F drive. Please keep note of this. If you're setting up your own media, you need to note what driver you're in. On Mac, this can be incredibly frustrating because it is so confusing to find out what you're doing. But on Windows, they make it simple. I've only got a few major drives. So C drive is your main computer drive. So if you put it in C drive, it's gonna be a heck of a time to find it. However, you should be able to find it pretty easily. D drive is very easy. That's normally your hard drive, extra drive built into Windows. But we've plugged in an external driver, which is gonna be called F drives. So when we go into F drives, you're gonna see a bunch of stuff. You're gonna see TV shows, movies. But what Plex will do, its software will de detect that there are movies in that driver. So we just want to hit add. Okay, now you can go to advance and add a few other things here. So you can change a few things. You can uh, not enable uh, like uh, cinema trailers. Uh, you can change a bunch of other stuff. I would just leave everything on a default. Uh, I just find that's the best way of doing it. You can change it right here, uh, whatever the media is. Now it's, we're just going to put it as a Plex movie. Uh, you can change all this stuff if you want. I recommend just leaving it as it is defaulted as or whatever you're seeing on my screen. What you want to do from there is hit add to library. Well, add library. Okay, that will take about 30 seconds to synchronize. And as you'll see, you'll see a little wheel at the top corner here. And basically that's just synchronizing all your content. Now, when you click on that, as you see, it's already loading some of the stuff in. So as you see, it's loading everything in right here. Okay, and that's really how easy it is. Now you're probably wondering, these aren't movies. No, they're not. But it, as you see, it works really well. If you were to do movies, which I actually thought that's what I actually enabled, which I may have not. So what you wanna do, if you've actually made an error, you can just manage your library just by going to edit. And as you see, yeah, that is correct. It's just added in some other stuff. That is correct, I was right. I thought I stuffed up then and I was going, I was bloody sure it was F drive. It's just added in some recordings of me. I'm not sure why that was being mixed in. But as you see, all my movie catalog is there. Look at that. It's right there. It's mixed a bunch of other stuff in. I don't know why it's done that. But as you see, very easy. Now let's show you how you do your TV shows. So we're just going to edit that profile, the movies one. Just click on the three little dots and click on manage and then hit edit. Okay, so from here what we can do, we can just, oh that's right, we can't edit. So we're just going to remove this one. So just do that. Okay, and then you just want to delete it. Just like that, that'll take a few seconds to delete. And um, now what we want to do is hit plus at the top here. Click on TV shows. Click on that. Yeah, we'll keep it at, oh, we'll call it TV Shows 2 because I think we've already got TV shows. No, we've got TV series, so we're all good. Okay, we want to enable the library, which is going to be F drive again. Uh, basically, just hit Add and hit Add, uh, add to Library. Now you're going to see TV shows again. It'll take about 30 seconds and you'll start to see all the content pop up. And you're seeing how fast this is. We do apologize before I got a bit confused because I saw pictures of me going on there. I didn't think I had those in my movie files, but obviously I do. Okay. Now movies two should have been removed, which it hasn't. So we're just going to do that again. So 
So obviously that's not wanting to remove. Hang on. See, it's probably not deleting because it's, see how it's still synchronizing a lot of content? So we can remove it after it finishes synchronizing. And if we go back to that, see, it's not going to show us anything in our TV shows list until it finishes Movies 2, which is a little annoying because we've got a bit of 100 movies in Movies 2, so that could take a bit. What, how many is it up to? Yes, yeah, see, now it's doing TV shows, it looks. So that should be adding in here soon. There we are. That added in right now. So it's done our movies. Now it's going to the TV shows playlist that we just added in. And that's how easy it really is to do to set up your uh, pretty much Plex server. It's so simple. So all you really need is to have your own content. So if you've got family videos, whatever you've got, music videos, you can pretty much set this up and you can play it everywhere, anywhere you want on your local network. If you want to play this more abroad, uh, so wherever you want, you need to pay for Plex Pass, which is about six bucks a month Australian. That's how easy it is. Let us know what you think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.